MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Houston Astros. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. He will lead this one off today. High in the air out towards shallow right. Reddick has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. And it's fouled away. One out, nobody on. Swing and a miss as he ran that two seamer right by him for the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up Bryce Harper. Harper. Ball two. I got to count two and two. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Well, that's a nasty breaking ball right there. Backdoor slider. Just a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. And here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brantley. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here now the 2-2. Ball three. Three and two now. Alex Bregman is on deck. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. And he fouls this one off. Another one sent foul. Pitch number 10 is the one that finally does it as he strikes out after a long battle here. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman. He went deep in the contest last night. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Another try at 2-2. Going to be a long day if he executes like this, punching tickets right out of the gate hit the other way out toward right field on the move is Harper but he can't get there and it bounces over the wall it's a ground rule double the second baseman. at the plate now Jose Altuve a ball and two strikes fouled away Bregman leads off second with one gun in the inning And this one's in the dirt. Throw goes over to third. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Got him swinging in the dirt. Real Muto has it. And he makes the throw to first. Altuve is retired. Two down now. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Jordan Alvarez. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Alvarez. Ready with the 2 1. Sent on the ground out to second. Kingery's there. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. He's hitless in the first two games of the series. 0 for 8. The 1 2. Popped him up. 
Stubbs over to his right. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. So the base is empty here with one away. And here's the left-handed hitting shortstop, Didi Gregorius now. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. And he lays off again. Ball three. JT Real Muto waits on deck. Fastball too high. Ball four. Set to get his day started. JT Real Muto batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. From the belt, the pitch. This is in the air to left. Brantley is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. Up next will be Nick Williams. Two hits and eight tries for the series. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Reddick. Gone! To the plate now, Adam Hazley. Takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. Weak roller right side. Guriel scoops it up. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So here's Yuli Guriel swinging it well so far in this series. He's three for nine. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. A ball and two strikes from Zach Wheeler. Lays off two and two now. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now, three and two. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. Hazley has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. George Springer, the next to hit, he's got three hits in six tries for the series. Here's the one and one pitch. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Hey, pretty aggressive pitch right there up in the zone. Surprised he didn't offer at it. In a full count to George Springer, it's three and two. Got him looking with the fastball as that had some two-seam movement to it. Two gone. So bases are empty here with two gone. And ambling over to the batter's box is Carlos Correa. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. Two and two now. Just the second inning, but already 37 pitches to this point. Fouled off. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Top of the third set to get underway, and that'll bring up the former first-rounder, Scott Kingery. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Having a hard time putting this hitter away here. And when I was looking at the tape on him from his last start, this is what I saw a lot of. He's not closing the door on guys. And, and when that's the case, they eventually get a pitch that they can do something with. Now that into the box Gene Segura line to the right side and that's in there base hit throw into second and that's out number one
So next to the plate for the Phils, Andrew McCutcheon. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. At the plate, Bryce Harper lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. On a line to shortstop. And that will bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. He topped out in his first trip. Here's the one and one delivery. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. In the dirt here. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. The 1 1. Is strike two swinging. Hey, if this guy's able to execute that two seamer down and away consistently, he's going to get a lot of swing and misses. He's going to get a lot of weak contact. He might even get a few knots on some people's shins. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Striding in for Houston, Garrett Stubbs. He's yet to get into the hit column in the series. 0 for 7. 1 1. Taken, strike two. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Full count now. Lifted the other way out to left center. McCutcheon is after it. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. So striding in, Michael Brantley. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike 3 in his first plate appearance. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few A-Bs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now. A payoff pitch one more time. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. set for the start of the fourth and set to go as the third baseman Didi Gregorius from the windup the 1 1 pitch no contact there and it's yep. one and two got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there that was a really nice pitch and it can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter and this is swung on and missed in this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout and there's one away. 1-1. One, one. You got two balls, one strike. Skied into very shallow right. Reddick on the run. He can't get there as it falls in. Now that designated hit. In now, Nick Williams. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. And he gets around on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one.
Into the box now, Adam Hazley. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. He's fallen behind now, three and one. One thing that can nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. And in steps Scott Kingery. One for one after a single this first time up. A 1-1. One, one. It's a changeup that drops below the knees for a ball. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. Throw on to first, so the sacrifice is successful. Two are gone in the Philly fourth, and that'll bring in Gene Segura. Four runs, five hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. Hit pretty well out to deep left field. Brantley going back into the Crawford boxes and gone. Rogelio Armenteros answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from the starter. Standing in now, Andrew McCutcheon. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Correa onto the grass. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Leading off the inning, Alex Bregman, and they'll need him to get something going here. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Two and two. a high fly ball headed for the left field corner if it stays fair it's gone nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball into the windup here comes the 2-2 pitch swing and a miss on the fastball and that's the first out so one away here with the bases empty and striding in the speedy second baseman Jose Altuve fastball taken but that gets the zone for a strike And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Now Next will be the designated, designated hitter, hitter, Jordan Alvarez. Jordan. First two men in the inning Alvarez. have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Drilled to the right side. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Digging in now for Philadelphia. Bryce Harper. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Maddie, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. And the fifth the inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now the three and two pitch. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Here's Didi Gregorius. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Six runs, six hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's 2 and 2 now. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. On to the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. Bottom of the inning now, and digging into bat next, the Cuban import, Yuli Guriel. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going, and the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Oh, textbook slider there, and he's back at even two and two. 
not where he wanted that fastball to be and it's three and two now hit to third and that's a base hit so the pressure's on to open up the inning runner at first following the error and standing in is the veteran outfielder George Springer full count here it comes good battle here this will be the seventh pitch coming up and it's fouled away Still three balls and two strikes. The eighth pitch of the at bat. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. Gone as it's into the Crawford boxes. Stepping in now, Carlos Correa. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Hit down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that brings up the former gold lover Josh Reddick. Now a swing and a miss on a pitch that's inside and hits him. But it won't matter. It's out number two regardless. Now batting. Digging in, Garrett Stubbs comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Sent on the ground out to second. Kingery's there. Throw gets him there from short right field. A nice play, and that one ends the inning. Digging in and looking for more, JT Realmuto. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. The 1-1 is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. Two balls and two strikes to the Phillies catcher. Back up the middle. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. So the Phillies get a man on to start out the inning. Good plate now. Nick Williams. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Coming to the plate now, Adam Hazley. Adam Hazley. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. He loses him on ball four. Standing in, Scott Kingery. A hit in two tries so far. Scott Kingery. Now the payoff pitch home. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will wind up being a foul ball. The next 3-2. Down the left field line and deep. And no one will get this one. Now this is on the ground to first. We'll see if they can get two. To second for one. On to the pitcher covering. And it's in time. A double play. And the inning is over. Here's Michael Brantley. He's hitless in the game, as is much of the rest of his team. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And the Astros get something started right away. It's a leadoff double. Third baseman number two. Allen. At the plate now, Alex Bregman. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. 
swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. And that is just shy of the box seats off the top of the wall. Throw to second, but he's in there as a run will score on the play as well. Now battle. The second baseman. Jose Altuve. So now to the plate, Jose Altuve. Two balls and a strike to Jose Altuve. Sliced hard on the ground. Oh, look at the sliding stop. And the first out of the inning is a beautiful one. What a play. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Jorgon Alvarez. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Got a good spot to be in right now. Pitcher's falling behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. Into the corner and slicing foul. And he misses with one here. It's ball four. So that'll at least bring the double play into the conversation with runners at the corners and one away. Sir Anthony Dominguez takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Guriel behind a ball and two strikes. Dominguez is a guy known for his lights out stuff. He tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate. However, he does at times get wild. Walks have come back to bite him on more than one occasion. You know, it's not uncommon, Matty V, for a relief pitcher to come in with really good stuff. And it seems like he's either really hit and miss. He'll rack up a lot of strikeouts, but if he's not quite on, he'll also rack up. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Seventh inning ready to roll and stepping in is the veteran shortstop Gene Segura. Yeah Matt that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot but listen a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers they call that a wall scraper in his last A.B. but listen it counts as a home run nonetheless. So the next hitter to dig in will be Andrew McCutcheon. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The one one now to McCutcheon. A ball and two strikes now. One and two. Fly ball out toward left center field. On the move is Springer. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. Here's Bryce Harper now. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Hard around first is Harper racing for second. And he will stroll in there standing with a two-out double. Now back. The first baseman. Into the box now, Reese Hoskins. Here's a fly ball well hit. Brantley going back. And just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. Throw to second, and he's out. That'll end the inning, but they do score one on the play. Boston Davis gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 54, Austin Davis. In now, Carlos Correa, and that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. Digging in once again, Josh Reddick. He's grounded out and struck out in his two trips to the plate. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. Lifted down the line and left. McCutcheon on the move, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. So striding forward now, now Garrett back. Stubbs. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll to. He throws him on the fastball there. Garrett Stubbs becomes the second out at the bottom of the seventh. 
And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. Now the payoff pitch home. Breaks as bad as this one's popped up. And he'll avoid the fragments out there to make the catch that ends the inning. So now to the plate, Didi Gregorius. He was a ground out victim last time up. Here's a swing and a shot back up the middle. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. He'll get it into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Framber Valdez is on the pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Astros. Number 59. At the plate, JT Real Muto. Swing and a miss got him reaching. And the throw is there to record the first out. So here's the Phillies DH, Nick Williams. And if you remember, I'm sure he does, he hit a round tripper back in the fourth. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Ball even at 2 and 2. One out and a runner on second base. Well below the knees laid off on the change up there. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Manny V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. And oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. So digging in now, Scott Kingery is working on a one for three thus far. Strike taken up in the zone. Two men are on with two men out. Frozen on the fastball. Never had a chance, and the inning is over. Victor Arano is on his way now, into the ball game now as he'll be making his 50th number appearance 54. of the year. Victor. Bottom Arano. of inning number eight set to go, and that'll bring up Alex Bregman. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Fouls this one off. The 2 2 one more time. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. So it's a leadoff base hit to open their half of the eighth. Now back, second baseman, Jose Altuve. To the plate now, Jose Altuve. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Fouled away. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. He'll try again, one, two. Misses, ball two. You know, these kind of at-bats can drive you crazy when you're on the mound. I mean, he's been ahead of him pretty much the whole time, but he just can't put him away. Not only that, but it's costing him a lot of bullets. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Popped him up. Kingery is over, and he's got it for the first out of the inning. Striding forward now is the DH, Jordan Alvarez. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Jordan Alvarez. Now the 1-1 one one pitch. 
high fly ball out to deep right field. A ball that's carrying on the warning track. He makes the catch. Now the Cuban import Yuli Gurriel. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. Here's George Springer. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Well, tying run on deck. He should get something really good to hit right here in a 3 1 count. I'd be sitting on a fastball middle end. Three and two now. He set and the payoff pitch is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Brad Peacock enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. So the Phillies batting order turns over and set to go. Gene Segura, he got under one and popped out his last time up. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. Stepping into the box, Andrew McCutcheon. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. Great job of running that fastball in on his hands right there with two strikes. Even though the batter's able to foul that one off, he's set up for almost anything in this pitcher's arsenal. And a swing and a miss here. And the first two are dispatched to begin the ninth. Harper. That one bends into the zone. A strike on the breaking ball. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at bat if they want to get back in this thing. David Robertson enters the game from the pen. And because this is a non save situation, it's evident that they're just trying to get him some work after having not thrown in several days. Yeah, and this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't had a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here. He's able to take the ball the other way here. High and deep to right center. But he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall for the first now out. Batting. Right fielder. Next up for the Strohs, Josh Reddick, who could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Fouled off. One out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. And that is swung on and missed, and things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. Last strike now for Houston. A two and two count to the Astros catcher. Grounded back up the middle. And that gets through, so he'll have his first base hit, make him one for four in the game now. The left fielder, number 23, Michael Brantley. Stepping in now, Michael Brantley. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Oh, and there's a drive to deep left center. You can pretty much forget about this one. This is way out of here. Hector Neris takes over on the mound now as he'll try to get the final out of the ball game here and pick up a save. Hector
So now to the plate, Jose Altuve. Now that ball is smoked, carrying the deep left, and it's out of here. Back to back, two out home runs. Yeah, he's been producing at the plate all year, so this should come as a surprise to nobody. But just because it's expected doesn't mean it's any less impressive. One swing, and we are tied. At the plate now, Jordan Alvarez. Called a strike, and it's full three and two. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential winning run is aboard at first. Now time is called, and a very wise decision here with the potential winning run at first. They'll opt to put a little extra speed on the base pass. Possible winning run stands at first with two out here. Swing and a ground ball to third. Throw in time, and they stop the bleeding as the side is retired. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Reese Hoskins. He was thrown out at second trying to stretch a base hit into a double in his last at bat. Yeah, fellas, not sure if he got the go ahead from his base coach or not. Can't believe he did. But it looked like he was running in mud right there. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything. So he can ill afford to start giving. And there's your go-ahead base runner right away as this is down for extra bases. And your go-ahead run is in at second base here with a leadoff double. And time will be called here as with the important go-ahead run at second base, they'll opt to go and get a little more speed out there. In now, Didi Gregorius. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Brentley has him played perfectly as he puts it away for out number one. So a big spot here in stepping in, JT Wilmuto. And he could very well get the intentional pass here as that would set up a potential double play ball that might keep the game tied. Maybe too much break on the slider, two and one. And this one's in the dirt. No advance here, but it's three and one now. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could the get them out of the inning. The designated hitter, Nick Here's the 2-2 pitch. Lifted the other way out to left center. Springer on the run. He gets there, and that's the second out. Digging in to try it again. Adam Hazley, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 1-1 one one pitch. Here's a ground ball out to the shortstop, Correa. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Ready for the bottom of the tenth here. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, George Springer. The 1-1. One -one. Ripped on the ground to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Here's Carlos Correa now. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Squared that one up just a little late. Bases are empty, one man out. And he goes and chops this one out towards second. Kingery's there. Throw on to first, two gone. Into the box now, now Josh Reddick. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side.
11th inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the former first rounder, Scott Kingery. The 2 2. Popped him up. Therefore, it is Guriel, and there's one gone. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Gene Segura. And if you remember, I'm sure he does, he hit a round tripper back in the fourth. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. This right-handed pitcher, his bread and butter is that two-seamer, and he loves to throw it inside. And he fouls this one off. The 2-2. Two -two. Is laid off, and the count runs full. It's a fine line from working down in the zone on two and two and bouncing one in there that basically stands no chance of getting swung at. Right there, he basically spiked that one right into the dirt, and now he has to find the zone on a 3 2 pitch. And he misses with it, ball four. So the potential go ahead run moves into scoring position now. Chris Davinsky takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Bryce Harper will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. The one and one pitch. sit back on the changeup and he did a good job to get the bat on that one man he's going to be kicking himself when he goes and watches the video after this one that's a change up two strike oh and look at this high in the air and deep and when this ball comes down they'll have taken the lead home run standing in now Davey Grion Fly ball out to straightaway right. Reddick has a read on it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Into the box now. Didi Gregorius. He flew out in his last at bat. Three runs already home here. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Now back. JT to the plate now. JT Real Muto fouled away. Another payoff pitch. High in the air out towards shallow right. Reddick is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Robert Stock takes the mound in a safe situation as he'll try and make sure this one doesn't reach the 12th. Now at the plate, Garrett Stubbs. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. The 2-1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. McCutcheon is under it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Michael Brantley who comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Now a swing and a deep drive to left and it ain't coming back and it's gone. Into the box, Alex Bregman. Lying toward the gap in left center. 
And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Now batting, the second baseman, Jose Altuve. Into the box now, Jose Altuve. Now a foul tip that's held on to at the plate, and the count moves to one and two now. As we near the end of this one, I think it's safe to say that the story of the game has undoubtedly been the long ball. Guys, what do you think about it? Oh, and he has some trouble with it. So now to the plate, Miles Strong. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Payoff pitch one more time. Comes with the fastball, but it's outside for ball four. Riding in, Yuli Gurriel, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. The 1-1 home is looked at for ball number two. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to 3-1 and one now. Line down the left field line. But this is going to get foul. Tying and winning runs on base here with one big out. Hit in the air down the right field line. And they do, in fact, let it land foul. Very smart. He's set. Here's the three and two. Hit the other way out toward right field. Harper's got it. Here comes the runner from third. But not in time as the run scores and the lead is trimmed to one. Nick Pavetta trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. George Springer will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. but he's able to hold off on it and it's two and one now. Now a ball lying toward the alley in left center. But this is taken in as a perfect metaphor to end this one as that ball was hit hard, but the ball game is over. Well, they had to put in a couple of extra innings of work, but hey, listen, a win is a win and any win is good, especially on the road. And it's a 10 to nine final at the end of this one. The Phillies put a 10 spot on the scoreboard in this one. Hector Neris wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Philadelphia Phillies. Ten runs, 13 hits. Two errors, they left 10 men on base. For the Astros, nine runs, 11 hits. No errors, they left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 56 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safe.